on that spot. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit always now and forever and under the ages of ages. salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Yerasimus, the Honorable Presbyters, the deacons in the service of Christ, and for all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. country, the president, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, 
the captives and for their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, your power is beyond compare and your glory is beyond understanding. Your mercy is immeasurable and your love for us is beyond the power of words even to describe. Master, look upon us and upon this holy house in your loving kindness. Grant to us and to those who pray with us the riches of your mercy and compassion. For to you belongs all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Shout to God all the earth, sing now to his name, give glory to his praise. Through the intercessions of the veiled Say to God, how fearful are your works. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Let all the earth worship you and sing to you. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. For yours is the dominion and yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. May God be gracious to us and bless us. May he cause his face to shine upon us and have mercy on us. Save us, O Son of God. way on the earth, your salvation among all the Gentiles. So, so, Let the peoples give thanks to you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Save us, O Son of God.
and protect us, O oh God, by your grace. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord, you have given us grace to offer these common prayers with one voice. You have promised to grant the request of two or three gathered in your holy name. Fulfill now the petitions of your servants for our benefit, giving us the knowledge of your truth in this world and granting us eternal life in the ages to come. For you are our good and loving God, and to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered, and let those who hate him flee from before his face. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, as wax melts before the fire. So shall the sinners perish from the face of God, and let the righteous be glad. This is the day the Lord made. Let us greatly rejoice and be glad therein. Christ is risen from the dead.
saints. You are praised by the seraphim with the thrice holy hymn and glorified by the cherubim and worshiped by all the heavenly powers. You brought all things out of nothing into being. You created man and woman in your image and likeness and adorned them with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to those who ask and do not overlook the sinner but have established repentance as the way of salvation. You have made us your lowly and unworthy servants worthy to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar and offer unto due worship and praise. Master, accept the thrice holy hymn also from the lips of us sinners and visit us in your goodness. Forgive all of our voluntary and involuntary transgressions. Sanctify our souls and bodies and grant that we may worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives. By the intercession of the holy Theotokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, for you are holy, our God, and unto you do we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages.
The Lord, the Lord is my strength and my song, and he became my salvation. The Lord chastened and corrected me, but he did not give me up to death. Wisdom. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us listen attentively. In those days, when the disciples were increasing in number, the Hellenists murmured against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily distribution. And the twelve summoned the body of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brethren, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochoros, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicolaus, a proselyte of Antioch. These they set before the apostles, and they prayed, and laid their hands upon them. And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests were obedient to the faith. Peace be unto you, the reader and to your spirit. May the Lord hear you in the day of afflictions. May the name of God of Jacob defend you. King and hear us in the day we call upon you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Shine within our hearts, loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our minds that we may understand the message of your gospel. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments. So that having conquered our sinful desires, we may lead a spiritual life, thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ our God, are the light of our souls and bodies, and unto you do we offer up glory. Together with your Father, who is without beginning, and your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and forever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. <laughs> and with your spirit. The reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Let us listen attentively. At that time, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself looking for the kingdom of God, took courage and went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. And Pilate wondered if he were already dead. And summoning the centurion, he asked him whether Jesus was already dead. And when he learned from the centurion that he was dead, he granted the body to Joseph. And he bought a linen shroud and taking him down, wrapped him in a linen shroud, and laid him in a tomb, which had been hewn out of the rock. And he rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, 
saw where he was laid. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb when the sun had risen. And they were saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the door of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone was rolled back, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a ro white robe, and they were amazed. And he said to them, do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him? But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him, as he told you. And they went away and fled from the tomb, for trembling and astonishment had come upon them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were to you who proclaims the Holy Gospel. Again, we bow before you in prayer, you O good and loving God. Hear our supplication. Cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, that they may always worship you with reverence and love, Partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation, and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. And grant that always God and by your power we may give glory to you. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and under the ages of ages. <coughs> minister to you.
ευθερωσένιο ο μνηστή κύριο Θεό στην τη βασιλεία αυτού πάντοτε νυν και αι. Και ει του ώρα του Deliverance from all affliction. 
wrath, danger, and distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Oh, Lord, have mercy. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world. Let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. A Christian into our lives peaceful, without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Receive also the prayer of us sinners that it reach your holy altar. Enable us to bring before you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the transgressions of your people. Make us worthy to find grace in your presence that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you. That your good and gracious spirit may abide with us with the gifts here presented and with all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your own holy, good and life-creating spirit, now and forever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. I love you, Lord. You are my strength, my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. I love you, Lord. You are my strength, my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. Christ is in our midst. He is, and all we shall be. be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and on earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. Then he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven 
sits at the right hand of the Father. Then he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the ages to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us live. to the Lord. It is proper and right. It is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, praise you, give thanks to you and worship you in all places of your dominion. For you are God, ineffable, beyond comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing. And when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things, we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all things that we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Together with these blessed powers, O loving Master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy, and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the entire plan of salvation for us. On the night when he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broke it, then gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Amen. 
Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Remembering, therefore, this command of our Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second glorious coming. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. We ask, pray, and beg you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented. Make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That these gifts might be for those who partake of them, for vigilance of the soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not in judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer to you this spiritual worship for those who rest in the faith. Our forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, teachers, for every righteous spirit brought to perfection in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. The angels Christ, Christ who heard her and baptized with the holy, glorious, and most honorable Apostles, especially Saints of the Holy Spirit, the Lord's Souls, the Lord's Souls, the Lord's Souls, the Lord's Souls, the Holy Spirit, to you this spiritual worship for the whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those living in purity and in holiness, and for all those in public service. Permit them, O Lord, to serve and govern in peace, that through the faithful conduct of their duties, we may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. 
Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Gerasimus. Grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years. Rightly <laughs> teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind. And all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, those who are traveling, the sick, the suffering, the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those that do charitable work, who serve in your holy churches and who care for the poor. Send your mercies upon us all. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. Having commemorated all the saints, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our loving God who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance. May in return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we ask, pray, and entreat you. Make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of our sins, forgiveness of our transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be. We give thanks to Invisible King. By your infinite power, you created all things. And by your great mercy, you brought everything from nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you. They bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the needs of each of us. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. And heal the sick, physician, of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, 
and to the ages of ages. Jesus Christ, our God, hear us from your holy dwelling place and from the glorious throne of your kingdom. You are enthroned on high with the Father and are also invisibly present among us. Come and make us holy. Let your pure body and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand and through us to all your people. Proscome Taia Tisaye Holy Communion Prayers on page 33. I believe, Lord, and confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy on me and forgive my transgressions, whether voluntary or involuntary, committed in word or deed, knowingly or unwittingly, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake in your pure mysteries, for remission of my sins, and for everlasting life. Amen. You have enticed me, O Christ, and I yearn for you. By your divine love, you have transformed me. Consume my sins in spiritual flame, and let me be filled with the sheer delight of you, O gracious Lord, that rejoicing I may magnify both your advents. How shall I, so unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal feast, my clothing will disgrace me, since it is not a wedding garment. Then I shall be bound and cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness. Instead, may I receive them for the cleansing and sanctification of both soul and body, and as a pledge of the future life in your kingdom. It is good for me to cling to my God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not speak of this mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as a Judas, but like the thief I confess you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. We welcome all of our guests and our visitors this morning. We're glad to have you with us. We respectfully remind you that the sacrament of Holy Communion is reserved for those who are baptized or chrismated or Orthodox Christian in good sacramental standing with the Church who have properly prepared through fasting, prayer, and the sacrament of Holy Confession. Therefore, if you're not Orthodox or if you have not properly prepared, we would respectfully ask that you remain in the pews during Holy Communion, but then at the end of the service, if you wish, you may come forward to receive a blessing from the priest. There is further information in the cards and the pews. Thank you. Amen. 
το ύψο του χειλαίου μου και αφελεί ο Κύριος Πάσας ανομίας μου και της αμαρτίας μου περί καθαρή. Ανάσταση Χριστού και ασάμινη και σκουλήσουμε να έγινε ο Κύριος Ιησού του μόνο μονάχα του το Σταυρό Σου Χριστέ προσπινούμε και την Αγία Σου Ανάσταση γνώμη και δοξάζουμε σίγαρο Θεός ημών εκτός Σου άλλο κοκκίδωμε το όνομά Σου ονομάζουμε δεύτε πάντα σε πιστή προσπινήσουμε του Χριστού η Αγία Ανάσταση και τον καρύστο του Σταυρώνα του κόσμου για παντός αυλογώντας τον Κύριο υμνούμε την Ανάσταση αυτού Σταυρώ μου ερεπομένη συνάστα να έχω θάνατο όλα στα With the fear of God, faith and love, draw near. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia, alleluia. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I will bless the Lord at all times. His prayer should be ever on my lips. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. My soul the servant of God, the Lord, let the meek hear and rejoice. The blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Sherry Marie, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Marie, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God. Approach the Lord and be enlightened in your face and be ashamed. For the forgiveness of your sins and life of Christ. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Keep your tongue from wickedness and For the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Genevieve, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, John, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Catherine, receives the body and blood of our Lord, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission and he will of your save sins. The, humble in spirit. the servant of God, Alice, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, John, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Alice, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants and none of those who hope in him shall be lost. The servant of God, John, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. 
the servant of God Zoe receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins and life and mercy. The servant of God Isaiah receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God receives the servant of God in the blood of our Lord and Savior The servant of God, Abraham, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of the sins of life everlasting. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Matthew, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Gloria, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of his sins. The servant of God, the Onesia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. Metalabani, Odulo Sutheo, Andreas, Soma Kema Christu Isafes, and Martion, Kizoin, Eonian Amin. Metalabani, Odulo Sutheo, Athanasius receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Με τα λαβάνει ο δούλος του Θεού. Αργύρι, σώμα και με Χριστού, εις άφηση των αμαρτιών και η ζωή αιώνιων. Αμήν. Με τα λαβάνει ο δούλος του Θεού Μαρίνα. Σώμα και με Χριστού, εις άφηση των αμαρτιών και η ζωή αιώνιων. Αμήν. Με τα λαβάνει ο δούλος του Θεού Ιόρνιος. Σώμα και με Χριστού, εις άφηση των αμαρτιών και η ζωή αιώνιων. Αμήν. The servant of God, Constantine receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Penelope, receives us just a moment. The servant of God. Let me give her a blessing. The servant of God, Christina, the servant of God, the servant of God, the servant of God, Paul, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, George, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins and life everlasting. With the Lavani of the Lord, so make him a good story, so I can see the Lord and the Lord. The servant of God, the servant of God, Jeffrey, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins and life everlasting. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Victoria, with the body of Shomak and the Christian Sophos and the Christian Kizurin, Eonion, Amin. The servant of God, Raphael, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins and life everlasting. Με τα λαβάνει ο δούλος του Θεού, σώμα και με Χριστού εις άφηση των αμαρτιών και ζωήν αιώνιων. Αμήν. Με τα λαβάνει η δούλη του Θεού, σώμα και με Χριστού εις άφηση των αμαρτιών και ζωήν αιώνιων. Αμήν. The servant of God, Anna, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Nicholas, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God 
receive the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God Stephanie receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God Grace receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God Mary receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Maria, with the Lavanya Shomaka Hashuis office in the Mastion Kizoi, in the name of the Lavanya Dorus Tavasilius, Shomaka Hashuis office in the Mastion Kizoi, in the name of the Lavanya Dorus Tavasilius, Shomaka Hashuis office in the Mastion Kizoi, in the name of the servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. But the Lavanya Rus the Yorios, so make him a Christian. The Sapphas of the Matthion Kezoin, Eonian Amin. The servant of God, Barbara, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Gregory, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For the remission of your sins, the servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God yet receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Natalie, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Anthony, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Anayota, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Metalavani Odorus Teu Constantinus, Soma que me Cristo e Sapa, Senhor Martion. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins and life of the Lord. The servant of God, Mark, receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and life of the Lord. Elvira receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins and life everlasting. <coughs> oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and under the ages of ages. Mysteries of Christ, 
Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. We give thanks to you, loving Master, the benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Direct our ways in the right path. Establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavor safe. Through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. You have fulfilled all the dispensation of the Father. Fill our hearts with the joy and gladness, always, now, and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love, always, now, and forever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, is a good, loving, and merciful God. Have mercy on us and save us. Through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the power of his precious and life-giving cross, the protection of all the angelic powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, especially St. Paul the Apostle, whose name our church bears, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, of our holy and God-bearing Father, John Chrysostom, whose lineage we have celebrated this day, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy, mirror-bearing women, whose memory we celebrate this day, the Theotokos and Ever virgin Mary, Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Salome, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary and Martha of Bethany, as well as Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, whose memory we celebrate this day, and of all your saints. Christos, I am 
ביה. הכריסטוס אין ביה. הכריסטוס אין ביה. מיתרי. המאסיר כאן. המאסיר כאן. המאסיר כאן. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christos on the on the third day. We worship the resurrection on the third day. Oh, I'm glad you were moving your lips, Diana. I was watching you just to see. Okay. Christos anestiek nekron danaton danaton batisas ketis endis mimas izoin charis amen olos Truly the Lord is risen. That was good this week. God bless you. Christos anesti, everybody. Holy Deacon. See that dude in the front row? That's Christian. going on this week. Um, so, Agape Dance Practice is today. Right, you guys? So, first through fifth grade, uh, next door. Um, is basketball and Bible study going on today? Louder. We can't hear what? you. We don't hear you. We're not hearing you. You can't hear me? No. The mic is out. That's hard for me to believe. Can you hear me now? Okay. Christian, I think you better stand up here. And then not wait, just hang on. Give me a second. But if they can't hear me, boy, there's big trouble. Big trouble. Um, anyway, first through fifth grade, agape dance practice today uh, over in the education building. Uh, basketball and Bible study. It says here that it's going on, hopefully so. Uh, teenagers, ninth through twelfth grade. It's me and Christian. Uh, in there to answer questions from the kids that they've already asked. Uh, I didn't tell Christian this before, but I'm going to give him all the hard questions. Uh, I'll talk to you in just a few minutes about who Christian is. Uh, he will be preaching the sermon today. Uh, on Monday, there's Bible study on Mark's Gospel. Uh, you know it's 7.30 p.m. on Zoom. Choir is practicing Tuesday night. Um, Eve begins her very, very short course in Orthodox theology for five weeks. Uh, this coming Wednesday evening at 5 o'clock 
it's Zoom only. And at 7 o'clock, it is live in person only. Um, anyway, uh, we're trying something different. Our uh, women's Bible study is on Thursday morning. Uh, Mr. Dean has a film for you all to watch uh, by Frederica Matthews Green, How to Pray Without Ceasing. And then she's take, he's taking the seniors out uh, for lunch. Uh, Philoptikos is having their board meeting that evening. Uh, Barbara, you're very grateful, I understand, that they're electing new officers. Uh, and you won't have to be president of Philoptikos for the next four years. Um, anyway, okay. Um, but it was a really good thing for you to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Boy, you better say that, baby. Okay, that's good. Uh, men's Fellowship meets that evening uh, at 7.30. And Mr. Dean's Bible study on Psalms and Proverbs also meets uh, at 7.30. Um, Charisse, I think, is supposed to be presenting at your Philoptikos meeting that evening about stress. Good, good. Uh, Kids and Cancer next Sunday at Newport Beach, the country club there, uh, raising money for a very worthy cause. Um, the good news is in the back of the church. Um, I would encourage you all to read it, if for no other reason than just simply that um, Deacon Dan has his sermon in here that he preached on Holy Monday evening. Uh, talking about his first experience of the bridegroom service. And uh, I think that's something very important for all of you to read. Um, so let me introduce Christian Gonzalez to you. He is uh, the director of actually ministry. So you're teaching us all how to minister. That's good. Um, he's the director of ministry for the Orthodox Youth Ministries of the Standing Conference of Canonical Orthodox Bishops. So uh, Christian actually... Uh, is, is directing, in a certain sense, an organization that represents all Orthodox in this country. It's a pan-Orthodox kind of thing. And uh, that's something that we at St. Paul's can certainly get behind. Um, Christian, you did a really great job yesterday. I very seldom compliment people publicly, uh, but you did very well. And those who attended uh, really got a lot out of it. Uh, those of you who missed it, well... Jeff, that's your problem, baby. I don't know what else to say. Uh, you, you, you missed something really good. Uh, Jack, I see you sitting in the back, I think, somewhere. Are you standing up? See Jack, you see, uh, you see Jack Corbin back there? He is uh, he's standing over in the corner. You see him over there, he's waving. Uh, listen, so he is a soon-to-be graduate of St. Vladimir's Seminary uh, in New York. And, uh, we wish him all the best. He presented to the teenagers yesterday. He also did a very good job. Uh, at any rate, I asked Christian to preach this morning uh, to talk a little bit about OYM also um, and what that is because uh, what I discovered pretty quickly was that even many priests don't know about this. So Christian, you have a mic. Um, I know you said you like to move around, but this microphone also works. Let's see how people work if, they, if you come up here, okay? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, Christ is risen. Truly is risen. What good news. What good news. Uh, I sort of feel like I'm like getting in like a spaceship or something, like I'm getting ready to like take off in this thing. Um, <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, so as Father said, I am the Director of Ministry for Orthodox Youth and Young Adult Ministries, OYM. And it's an agency that was developed by the Assembly of Bishops. Uh, for the sake of really trying to unify and give a solid vision for what ministry to youth and young adults uh, can look like in an orthodox context. And part of the thing that we've been running into is that we've, you know, for so many years done this kind of like youth ministry thing, young adult ministry thing, uh, ministry to like whatever demographic. And what we've begun to realize is that really ministry is just ministry and people need to be ministered to all around. And so one of the big things that we kind of have in our mind is what would it look like as Orthodox Christians to create a culture where everyone is ministering to one another, where we become one another's uh, brothers and sisters for real, where we truly dwell together as a household of God, where we love one another, where we learn to forgive one another, to show mercy on one another, uh, where we're involved in each other's lives, lifting one another up. Because the question that I've gotten in the 15 years that I've worked in, in youth ministry, more than any other question, 
is why do young people leave the church? And there's a lot of reasons, I think, that probably people will try to give to answer that question, and it's a valuable question, but we all come at it from our different perspectives. And to that end, I've kind of gotten personally wondering if that is the right question. Maybe that isn't the question that we should be asking, but rather the question that maybe we need to start asking is how do we make sure the church is a place they want to stay? How do we make sure that this is the place where they find the answers to their deepest questions, where they find the fulfillment of their deepest longings about who they want to become, where they feel like they can belong, and what they feel their life has meaning for? What if that was what we really were able to present well? And I guess the question that we have before us at OIM and with you all partnering with you is how do we do that? How do we make sure that this church, that our communities, that we become one household of God that is devoted to our young people, that we actually do ministry on their behalf, that we do things with them, that we do things for them. And today, as I've been sort of thinking through things, uh, I think the gospel and the epistle kind of have some ideas for us. So what we're presented with in the gospel right in the beginning is Joseph of Arimathea, who was a member of the Sanhedrin. And the Sanhedrin were the council of the Pharisees that, were, that condemned Jesus to death. So they were the ones who kind of said, this has got to end, this Jesus guy has got to go. And Joseph, one of the members of the Sanhedrin, takes courage, the scripture says, and he goes to Pilate to ask for the body of Jesus, which is just remarkable. I mean, here is Joseph. He was at the meeting when they decided, like, this guy's got to go. And so Joseph takes courage and goes to Pilate and says, I want the body of this man. Give me the body of Jesus of Nazareth. And you can imagine the opposition that Joseph might have been getting himself into. Like if his Sanhedrin buddies found out that he was going to, to Pilate asking for the body of the man they had just condemned to death. Whoa, I mean, this would really put him at odds with all of his friends. So he was taking a great risk. It was a great risk going against the religious elite of the day, going up against the Roman government, asking for the body of Jesus, who was crucified as a criminal. And then we also see the myrrh-bearing women coming to the tomb because they are coming also to care for the body of Christ. But they also are coming up against some obstacles, aren't they? There's a huge stone in the way, and they don't know what they're going to do about it. There's all these obstacles that stand in the way for these people getting to the body of their Lord. But the thing is that these were people who were madly in love with him. They loved him. And they had put all of their hope in him. They thought that he was going to be the one that was going to restore the kingdom of Israel, that was going to knock out Roman oppression. And here he was, dying at the hand of the state. Man, you can imagine that their hopes must have been dashed. Their hopes for what he was going to do, for who he was going to be. And yet, they loved him. At this point, it didn't matter. They didn't know that he was going to come back. They thought he was just gone forever. But they loved him, and so they went to care for his body. They had to. They, nothing could stop them. Not the government, not the religious elite, not even a giant stone in the way of the tomb. And I think that this is something for us as well. That our, the fulfillment of our love for Jesus Christ, the fulfillment of a life that has been restored, that has been renewed in him, is that we likewise must care and tend to his body. We must go against all obstacles to care for the body of Christ. And what is the body of Christ, brothers and sisters, if not one another? We are that body that we've been charged to care for. Our youth, our young adults, everybody in this room, the person to your right, the person to your left, your belonging in this body is inextricably linked to each person in this room. And therefore, we must care for one another. We must become a community. We must become communities in this world of love. Communities where everyone belongs, where we are given purpose and identity. And I think if we do this, if we see this, I think we'll see some trends reverse. Because if you look again at the epistle, or that reading from Acts, the Hellenist widows are being denied their daily distribution of food. You know, they're not getting what they need, and so it causes division in the church. And so what the, the apostles decide to do is to ordain deacons to care and to distribute the food, to serve the tables, is what, this, what it says. 
And I think that this is another image for us. Because for the Lord, for our body, communion and community happens at a table. It happens when we're at, with one another, when we're sharing meals with one another, when we're in each other's lives, when we're in each other's homes. This is how things grow. And we see that after that, the, it says the number of disciples greatly multiplied because they were actually sharing meals with one another. They were being together. They were tending to the needs of the community. They were tending to the wounds in the body. So what does this actually mean for us? It's all nice, right? Well, in 2019, Cigna released a study saying that Generation Z was the loneliest generation ever to exist in America. And recently, more studies have come out saying that there is something of actually an epidemic of loneliness happening in America. That across generations, fewer and fewer people are saying that they feel like someone really knows them. Fewer and fewer people report having close friends. You know, I once heard someone say, what's the greatest miracle that Jesus ever performed? Having 12 close friends in his 30s. <laughs> and it's like we laugh because we're like, haha, that's funny, but it's also sadly true, right? I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a grown man in my 30s, and the older that I get, the harder it is to make close friends. For whatever reason, we just have a harder time with it. But what if the church could be a place that actually bucked that trend? What if we could be the ones who were a force of relational reconciliation in a world that has been torn apart in the last four years? What if we could be the place where people come to find healing and love to get their daily distribution of communion and community? What if that could be us? Who wouldn't want to be a part of that? Who wouldn't want to be here? Because that is the fulfillment of everything that it means to love the Lord as we see from Joseph and the myrrh-bearing women to care for the wounds of the body of Christ. And we are all walking around wounded, needing one another, needing to be anointed with oil, welcomed to the table, and given love. Are we not? I know I am. We need one another. So, if you think of someone in your life who has become distant, someone who may need someone, reach out, send a message, give a call, have a cup of coffee, because that is where communion begins, and it's where it ends with our Lord, at his table, as he welcomes us into his kingdom. To him be the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, by death he has trampled upon death, and on those in the tombs he is bestowing life. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, has bestowed on us eternal life and great mercy.